So if you put helium in a guitar, wouldn't that make it a ukulele? Let's try. This is before helium. Nothing happens. But from reading a Reddit post on no stupid questions, it would require sealing the hole. And by the time you did that, it would mess with the resonance so much that it wouldn't make a difference. But this user clearly didn't know what I know today. Because a few weeks ago, Marti Reeds from the University of Barcelona sent me a video of his instrument, the clavinimbus. And all I could think was, whoa, that sounds great, but is that a balloon? <laughs> he explained, yeah, it is. And it's pretty simple in its principle. You can use a balloon instead of the actual body of an instrument. And I was mind blown. But at the same time, I realized that the problem mentioned in the Reddit post would be completely avoided if I made a balloon guitar. Marty advised me to read about the Bachet brothers. These guys apparently made an inflatable guitar and patented it in 1958. Bachet mentioned in this book that he had exceptional results, which I have trouble believing, but there's only one way to find out. Oh, and some good news, I'm now a verified engineer. Go buy the new merch, because right now it's a Black Friday sale. Now when I think about it, I don't think I ever done woodworking outside of school. And back then, this was my most complicated creation. So, <laughs> wish me luck. So, I have this guitar neck from a guitar building kit. I think these are made of some really strong woods. There's four days of measuring 20 times, then cutting it once horribly. Ah! It could be worse. I think. <laughs> I don't see how this could be a good idea. Like, it's supposed to be loose like this. <laughs> I honestly don't dare tune in this more right now. First, I want to try if the balloon even works. This is without the balloon. It's not like a guitar, so I think I messed something up, but I mean, it's quite loud. But it's too wobbly. Oh wow! That's a huge difference. Yeah, that's much louder. Yeah, so this didn't turn out to be my first guitar. It's my first bow because it's just bending. Okay, so you need some like really, really strong wood. Or you yeah. could also just try using steel, I guess. You have tried using steel, right? Making a cursed guitar is surprisingly time consuming, so having Soundcore as a sponsor this video was very convenient. Because with some music and a podcast, I mean, I could hack that tree for a year. Anyway, Soundcore's new earbuds Liberty 3 Pro is probably the best sounding noise cancelling earbuds under $200, in my opinion, and also many reviewers. And these are priced at $169.99. I don't know how they do it, but they told me that it's because they use their patented ACAA 2.0 coaxial driver technology, which makes them sound super crisp without any distortion. I think their app is probably the best part because you can do like a hear ID test that will give you a tailored noise cancelling response for your ear canals and environment. Sanko really liked this video idea, so they sent a surprise product for this ad. These are the Soundcore frames, which is basically glasses with two speakers in the front of your ears and two in the back. Personally, I don't like this style, but the thing is that the frames are interchangeable. So you can pick between a bunch of polarized lenses or blue light filters ones that actually is your style. I also found it interesting that they sent me sunglasses during a Swedish winter. You can find both products on Amazon or Soundcore's official website, so link in the description and go buy if you want. So let's do some assembly magic and uh, now we can go and try the helium. Okay, so I'm done. It's incredible how little you can achieve in 10 days. Like this took me 100 hours making it this. It might not be the best idea to make the bridge out of <laughs> pointy metal. Also, this is the thing I bent to keep the balloon in place. Yeah, I also added something soft here so the bridge vibrations can travel straight to the balloon. 
don't break. Is it only me or is it kind of attractive? I have so much guitar string breaking anxiety, it's incredible. You don't need safety glasses when you can. <laughs> Almost. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, you can actually play. Okay, let's uh, try switching balloons. <laughs> that looks kind of good. I mean, look. Oh my god. I think it's too soft to work. But we do have this thing left. It sounds like a mic. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> this is completely not uh, not the mic. You probably noticed that. Whoa. <laughs> you can <laughs> take it with you if you want. Whoa. What? Let's do it. This would be historic if this works. <laughs> Didn't that sound higher in pitch than before? I can't tell. Is it... Is it higher in pitch? Come on, please say. I don't think it is. Or is it? So helium in a guitar doesn't do anything. I might get some use from this guitar. So 90% of you watching this video are not subscribed to my channel. And don't worry about me, I'm fine. But wouldn't it be nice to be one of the first million engineers? Because we're getting close. I will answer thousand comments on this video. If you have any good video ideas, let me know. That's what I live for, <laughs> literally. And join the Discord. Here's a bonus clip. Marty sent me footage of the actual balloon guitar. Wouldn't you want to know what it would sound like if you tuned all the notes on your piano to the same note and then just smashed all of them at once? Click here.